Welcome to Trojan Tech. Today we will be showing you how to install a Trojan Lithium 1-pack into a Yamaha Drive 2 car. To complete this installation, you'll need the following tools. A cordless drill, drill bits or hole saws including 3 8 inch, 7 8 inch, and 2 inch diameters, drive bits or screwdrivers, flat, Phillips, hex, and torx, drive bit and socket extensions, 3 8 inch drive torque wrench, 3 8 inch drive sockets, including 12 and 13 millimeter, and a 9 16 inch deep socket, side cutters or flush cut pliers, needle nose pliers, zip ties, and electrical tape. A cordless impact driver can also be useful for disassembly. Included with your purchase of the Trojan Lithium Ion One Pack battery is a charger, a gauge kit which includes a wire harness, an on off button, and an LCD screen. You will also be provided with a mounting bracket that is cut to fit the custom vehicle's make and model. Begin by engaging the parking brake in the car. Make sure to turn the key switch to the off position. Next, you'll be removing the seat. Tilt forward and lift the hinges out from the front of the body of the vehicle. In the back of the car, flip the switch from run to tow. It is a good idea to mark your cables with black tape for the negative and red tape for the positive load cables before removal. Remove the nuts from the currently installed lead acid batteries, starting with the main negative terminal followed by the main positive terminal. Continue removing the cables from the battery to battery connections. Once the battery cables are cleared, remove the bolts from the battery hold downs and set the battery cables and hold downs aside. These items will not be reused. Using a lifting strap, clip into the center batteries and lift straight up and out. Once the center batteries are removed, slide the end batteries out from the lip of the car body and into the center of the battery basin to remove from the car. Clear out any loose dirt or debris from the battery compartment with a rag or vacuum. Now we will install the gauge and power button wire harness. The wiring harness has three wires on one end, a red wire to connect to the positive battery terminal, a black wire to connect to the negative battery terminal, and a CAN communication cable. This end will stay in the battery basin. The other end of the cable has a six pin connector that plugs into the gauge display and a two wire connector that connects to the power on off button. This end will be fished through the front of the basin near the passenger side underneath the car. Continue to route the wire along the frame to the front of the car. Use zip ties to secure the wiring to the car frame. Cut the excess plastic from the zip ties. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the Yamaha badge and then remove the hex head bolt from the cup holder. Lift the cup holder out of the dash area to retrieve the gauge and power button connectors. Cut a hole to the right of the forward reverse selector switch with a 2 inch hole saw for the LCD gauge display. Use a stepped bit or 7 8 inch hole saw and drill a hole to the left of the key switch for the power button. The LCD display can be secured to the dash with a click on locking back. The power button secures to the dashboard with a backing nut. Remove the backing nut and set it aside for reuse later. Feed the remote power button wire harness through the 7 8 inch drill hole that you drilled previously and fit the remote power button into the hole. Feed the wire harness through the nut that you removed earlier and thread it on the button to secure it.
plug the six pin connector into the display and the two wire plug into the power button. Place the battery bracket into the basin. It should fit into the center of the car. Mark the location of the holes on the mounting bracket. Use a drill and a 3 8 inch drill bit to make holes for the bolts for the mounting bracket. Be sure to check for wires under the floor of the car before drilling holes. Replace your battery bracket in the basin and place the washer, lock washer, and nut, then tighten them down on the mounting bolt. You may need to use a cutoff tool to remove some plastic from the battery basin to create a flat area to mount the charger. Make sure the charger is oriented so that the status lights are visible. Now it is time to install the battery onto the mounting plate. Team lift the battery into the compartment and slide the mounting feet in place on the studs. Place a flat washer, lock washer, and nut on all four mounting studs on the bracket. Tighten them down to secure the battery. Now, let's install the cabling to the battery. Starting with the CAN communication cable connection, remove the dust caps from the ports on the front of the battery. The CAN cable is keyed so it will only fit the battery in one orientation. The notch on the cable should be at the top of the port when connecting. Connect the cable to COM port 1 and the CAN terminator to COM port 2. Twist the silver collars clockwise to secure. Now, remove your terminal protector from the black negative terminal. Place the cables on the bolts, starting with the state of charge gauge cable, then the black charger cable. Any accessories that are installed in the vehicle. And finally, the main load cable to the car. Repeat the same process for the positive terminal, starting with the SOC gauge cable, the red charger cable, any accessories, and finally the main positive cable. Hand tighten the bolts into the terminals. Make sure the cables are managed to allow for the reinstallation of the terminal protectors. Torque the bolts into the battery at 50 to 60 inch pounds and replace the terminal protectors. Double check that the wiring is correct and power the battery on by pressing and holding the on off button located on the battery for about 6 seconds. The car won't power on until it is switched back to run mode, but verify that the state of charge gauge powers on and that the remote power button works to turn the battery off and then back on again by pressing it for 1 second each time. If everything is working correctly, reinstall the cup holder by clipping it at the front of the car, then tighten the hex bolt and replace the Yamaha badge. Return the car to run mode and finally reinstall the seat.